And on my first video, I showed you how to record my tackle box, how to set it up and stuff like that. Um, today, I'm going to demonstrate with and tell you each of these hooks, the purpose, and why these hooks are here. And possibly show you the rig. I want to start with the weights. This is a two pound bank sinker to tie on. You tie it through the loop right here. Works good for fast moving currents. And this is a one ounce egg weight. Uh, you put it through um, and it goes back and forth. And these are good for maybe a, a deep pond or something. These are half an ounce egg weights. They're basically the same thing, just if you have wider line, you need a wider weight to cast it out. These are one of my favorites. These are a uh, fourth ounce uh, split shot sinker. These are really convenient when you just need a weight right fast. Uh, these were made by, um, actually, I don't really remember, but. These are really good. You get them in a pack of 16 for about $2. Uh, you can find them at any bait and tackle shop. They're really useful. Over here, I have a bead. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a bead. Uh, this bead, when on your line, your, uh, your weight sliding up and down in the line, you put this bead on the knot, and it protects your knot. That way the knot stays stronger. And these are just a regular ball bear and split uh, snapshot uh, sinker. You just put the snail hook in. You just put the snail hook in and uh, works fine. These are one of my favorites. These are a, uh, it's a golden size four or five. Um, uh, you tie your line to this. Uh, swivel. This bob right here, you want to, if you go catfishing, why do you have a bob? Well, this bob is for the rig that I'm going to show you in, in a little while. Alright, so the hooks. I'll start down here. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, a size one circle hook made by Eagle Claw. Uh, very good for smaller catfish. This is a size 3 circle hook, also made by Eagle Ball. This is a size 5 circle hook, made by Eagle Ball. Um, right here, this is a size 4 tail hook. Um, the reason why they're called tail hooks is because if you look right here where my fingers are, see the uh, gap to the hook. You can put your bait right here, and in order for them to get the bait, they have to cross the hook. Now I have a size 6 cow hook, which is good to put the blue gill on for that big gap. Right here is a, uh, a worm hook, as you can see the back of the bait holder on it. This is um, in the, like, catching bait fish or something, or the catfish. This is a... Um, these are also the all their blood hooks, and as you can see, they're a little offset, so that when they bite, they won't be very helpful. Um, these are, this is a like, saltwater jay hook. This one is an actual jay, but it's really easy that way. I have a bigger jay hook. This one's about four, about three inches long. That's a good size. Alright, now I have a smaller, I don't know if you can see it, smaller uh, like throw hook. Um, just put your corn or sludge bait or whatever you want to use on here. I have a bigger sludge bait. Yeah. And this is for, uh, I've seen videos, people put hot dogs. I don't know if you are one of the people who like hot dogs or bait catfish, but I use chicken livers and cut bait. Uh, I'm going to show you the rig now.
No, I, um, I forgot to show you these. These are size 2 snail hooks by Eagle Hall. These are really good to use as ball bearing swivel with. I you can see. It's in all snap. And then I'll have a pack of uh, size 3 saltwater hooks that have the nylon wire with it. And these are really good for big catfish or saltwater. These are size 1 saltwater hooks. These are a little smaller for small fish. And they're still strong and durable. What I have here is I should use the last video Berkeley Triline Big Game Line. This is 50 pound line and it's really good for leaders and to tie your hook on to. Well, right now I'm going to show you uh, the rig. Alright, what you will need is just a hook of your size. I'm going to use this uh, circle hook right here. Uh, you'll need a weight. I'll use this. You'll need a bead to protect your uh, your knot. You need a bobber. I prefer the ones that you put the line through on the line before you tie your hook. You put this on. They work the best. And then you need a uh, barrel swivel that you tie. And of course, everybody, every type of box should have a pair of near no pliers. Well, I'll get started. Um, you want to. This is all going to go on your barrel swivel, so you want to get about an arm length of line. And you want to cut that with your uh, pliers. And you want to, I got this uh, tape thing on there to keep the line. You know. Alright, you want to first. Don't you take this? I don't. Now, you let it get down about about six inches, and then you grab it. This is a knot off. You just you, you just tighten the swivel. I do it uh, eight times. Sometimes a bigger line, you do it less. And you take the uh, knot, the the uh, line that you started with, the extra. The uh, excess line, and you poke it through that hole right there. What this does is it takes this and it twists through. And with gay lines, one thing about big line is it's hard to get to uh, go through. Alright, now once you go to kind of on there, you want to lift your line. So that it don't melt when you pull it tight, because you're pulling that really tight. And then once you got to pull it on one side, you want to pull it from the other. And that is what your knot should look like. And you want to cut off your excess line, leave about about a quarter of an inch just in case it won't pull through. Alright, now you want to put on your bobber. This bobber goes through the line. It goes through the line. All the way through the line. Just put it on there. You can just leave that dangling for now. You want to tie your hook on. Some people prefer, sn prefer snail. But I just like tying the same knot. To me, it holds better. Um, this is a. Ah, right, there we go. Pull your line tight to make sure that knot goes down onto your hook. There's that knot on the hook. Then you want to cut your line uh, about a centimeter, maybe. Right, then that is your leader right there. And you just 
just put your bobber on. Um, I say about halfway. You put your bobber on. And the reason this is, is I'll show you what I'll do. I'll get some more on. And you get this. I don't have it on a main line, so just cut you. This is going to be as your main line. Wood on your uh, pole. From, this would be the line coming from your reel. Right here. So what you want to do is you want to, on it, you want to get this bead. Uh, you want to put this weight on it first. And get it there. And you want to put the bead on. Once you get the bead on, you want to tie it to you. And remember, this is going to be a main line. So you have to have stuff on before you tie it. And you want to just tie it now again. Same knot. You just hold the line still and you twist it eight times. What you do, you take it, your uh, the line, put it through the loop inside of the swivel. With your line. Hold tight and then pull on the other side to tighten it up. <laughs> Cut your excess line. And then since I don't have it on my main line, uh, the uh, stuff came off, which once it's on your main, it won't do this. Alright, well, and as you see, it protects your, uh, the weight goes right down on the swivel. And, I don't know. This is your rig. Um, I'll get these out of the way so it's the rig. The hook, right here. About a foot to your bobber. Once to the bobber, it's tied to the swivel. And the swivel is tied to your main line. And your main line has a bead. It has a bead and an egg weight. This is the weight. This is the bead. It protects the knot. And it, it, it costs about maybe about 10 bucks to make this, uh, this rig. This rig works really well for almost any size catfish. Uh, well, this is Fish Boss. Um, just leave comments, anything. I'll just please subscribe, comment. Um, it's Fish Boss, and I'll see you again. Thank you.